if you're at all familiar, just even a little bit with Delaware harness racing, you'd know that Eddie is a living legend in our sport. The Smyrna resident has been a leading reinsman at Dover eight times. He's held a driving title at the 5 8 mile oval twice during the 70s, twice during the 80s, twice during the 90s, and even twice in the 2000s. That's amazing. Now this November, he will be turning 80 years old and shows no signs of slowing down. He's been training several horses and we even have seen him back in the driver's seat recently. Let's check in with Bally's Dover Publicity Director, Al Krasuski, who got a chance to chat with Eddie at the track. How do you prepare to, to drive the races? Do you, do you take a look at the program? try and get past performance or you know some of the horses that you raced against? Well, I know the horses pretty much, but I look down and see who makes breaks and who doesn't, maybe who steps out of the gate, who doesn't. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the Pacers or the Trotters? If they do it good enough, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in against your son, Alan, in the, the second race. Have you guys ever raced uh, against each other? I probably You probably trained together, but we, this- We raced together quite a bit, really. That's one reason I really quit driving. When no Wallace come along, I quit driving because Alan was getting horses to drive, but horses that really weren't any good, we'll say. And he said, Dad, I can't drive that horse. I said, Alan, the horses you're driving, you can't never move or do anything. You and your mom, your mom and I own this horse. And they had the eight hole. I said, when the man says go, Alan, just take him back. At the quarter pole, you pull him out and just come slow up the outside and hope nobody don't come in front of you. He said, what? I said, I hope nobody don't come in front of me. I think he went 49 that night. He was one of the great ones, especially racing here primarily at, uh, at Bally's Dover. I guess uh, the next question and the, probably our final question as we're getting ready for the post parade, what changes have you seen over the years uh, from when you were racing? I know it was a long time ago and things changed for the best, but what's one of, the, one of the top two or three things that you've seen that have changed the most? Well, in the last 10 years, the racing, they just kind of roll them on, go, right down the road with them and big fractions on the board, which is gonna make fast miles, which most places love that. And uh, I, I don't know, it seems like to me, you better if you save them a little bit, you'd have a better horse next week. But that's the way it is. Well, back in those days, if a horse came first up, they usually would back through the field. Now, they just seem to keep going and going and going. And they go to the third quarter, just as fast as they can go, 27 and piece like that. Well, heck, back in that day, we lucky we knew a horse could go fast that. You know, he'd go 28 in a piece. Well, Miss Conadios went 28 and three at Liberty Bell Park. You might think the grandstand was gonna fly apart. Well, we went opening quarter 25 and three a couple weeks ago. So, uh, you know, they're just getting faster and faster. But what do you think about Bulldog Hanover? He's a great horse, that's all I can tell you. Great horse. Is he the greatest? Well, you know, over the years they all different, you know, different things, different times. They've been a lot of great horses to go by me. A lot of them. Eddie, it's been a great privilege for me to be talking with you after all these years. Thanks, Al, and thanks, Eddie, for your time. And we love seeing you at the track on a nightly basis. Davis has made an unforgettable mark on our first state sport for decades. And it looks like he'll continue to do so.